The African Union has for years grappled with the various challenges facing the continent. Recently, I spoke with the AU Commission Deputy Chairman, Erastus Muencher, and asked him how much progress the organization has made in addressing poverty, corruption, and bad government, governance. Uh, in the last five, six years, Africa has put in place a very strong framework uh, for combating corruption and also instituting in place a mechanism for good governance. Uh, we also see increasingly a number of countries that are now participating and we see outcome of very successful change of government. We do have isolated cases, but the problem with Africa is that we tend to associate Africa with a few hot spots and, and that becomes the hallmark of Africa. Yes, there are all these spots, but let's look at the big picture. Some would tell you that, uh, yeah. you know, we enough of obsessing uh, uh, about uh, successful elections, uh, but how about just changing the dynamics within the nations? I mean, we've seen elections take place, but uh, poverty is still on the rise. Uh, there have been democratic uh, transfer of power, but uh, corruption follows the same guys who go to the next, uh, who join the next government. The question is, does the Africa Union really have the capacity to inject or to influence a change of the type of leadership in Africa? We know that uh, some of the corrupt leaders, for instance, have kept their ill-gotten fortune in the Western countries, and we are saying, Let's work together to combat it because if we work with those governments, for instance, to make it difficult for them to keep some of those resources in those countries, it would help. But on the continent again, we are also taking measures only in the last summit that Africa Union put in place a mechanism where we elected. Uh, a body that will look at corruption issues in Africa. Now, one of the other things that, of course, uh, always comes to the fore when we're talking about Africa, and the African Union is the conflicts mm -hmm. uh, that have bedeviled the continent. Uh, we have very specifically Sudan, mm -hmm. we have uh, Somalia, and of course Congo, where we have been witnessing a slow genocide over many years. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, people would say, why has the African Union not resolved this conflict? Africa has already been very active in some of those. Take the case of what you mentioned in Darfur. Africa was the first to send there a mission, and many African soldiers have even died on the ground. And, and in Africa, we have already uh, taken a very strong stand that uh, those individuals who have been mentioned, who have participated in Sudan, must be brought to justice. But let me correct Does one. that include the leader of the country? President Omar al-Bashir. What is the position of the African Union on this? We have said that uh, the issue of justice uh, must uh, be addressed. But again, this is where we are not properly understood by our partners uh, in the West and in other capitals. First of all, we said very clearly that Sudan, there are a number of issues that must be addressed. There is the issue of uh, the political process, that we must have reconciliation. We must have a minimum condition for peace to be able to even talk about justice. We must have also look at the issue of human uh, humanitarian assistance. But what we see is a solution that is generated in some capitals, and, and people come around and say, we want to implement it without consulting with Africa. Africa at no time has asked that justice be swept under the carpet. We have even said the provisions that we are asking for, it is provided for under Article 16 of ICC, and what Africa asked for is a postponement for 12 months, not forever. Well, it's time now.